between the two bones, the femur and the tibia, these C-shaped things are menisci. Yeah. So you've had some of that trimmed up, but it may be that you've got a tear that's just in and out of the joint, jamming it and fit beautifully with your story. It's fucking big news that, like, it's a big job. I know, I know of it already. Yeah. Where your career's been going mm. is a worry. And obviously I need to talk to your agents about that. Now is not the time to panic. I just got some noodles and everything that looked decent. Who knows what it is though. But how does it taste? It's amazing. I think that's like a salt and pepper chicken now. Really good man. First impressions of Camden. It's my kind of place. Nice though, isn't it? Really nice. If it's people I know, I keep it, I go for the handshake. If it's strangers, try and keep it to the knuckles up. Yeah, germs and that. Germs and that, COVID and that. One hour later. Fucking out, top lad. Thank you so much, Thanks, mate. Have a good day, mate. Legend, see you later. His hands are wet. That's what I mean. <laughs> Stick to the knuckle touch. <laughs> Stick to the knuckle touch. <laughs> what do you wear them for, though? Can we see? <laughs> what do you wear them for, mate? Swimming. A lot of people will see this probably and think, why is he fighting with an injury? because that's what uneducated people think, is they're like, you shouldn't be fighting if you've got an injury, but most, no, not most, not even most fighters, most athletes compete with injuries. That's just the way it works. Like, that's the way that the shit works. If you want to be a top athlete, you have to push that shit to the side if you can. And for the most part, I could push the injuries to the side. Like, I've had this torn cartilage in my knee since before I got in the UFC. Before I got in the, before I signed my first UFC contract, I torn the cartilage in my knee in the gym. And then it was like, right, we're gonna have the UFC fight, my, my debut, and then I'm gonna get I'm gonna get it fixed. So I had the debut, got the bonus, then it was like, right, I'm gonna get it fixed. Then they offered me another fight, so I thought, right, I'll do this one more, then I'll get it fixed. I ran through the guy pretty quick, and then so that was my second fight. Then they offered me a fight against my hero, Andrei Olovsky, in Vegas. Never even been to America before. So I was like, shit, I can't miss this one. When am I going to get to fight Arlovsky again? Went over there, beat Arlovsky, bonus. Then I thought, I was like, right, I'm going to get it fixed now. Then they offered me a new contract, way more money, like double the money, um, fighting Vegas again. So I was like, oh, right, I'll do this one. And then I'll get it fixed. Just did that one. By the way, all, all, all the time I'm rehabbing the knee, so it is actually getting a bit better as well. It's getting a lot better than knee. And uh, I can like manage it, I can train around it and stuff like that, so that's what I was doing. Then, beat Spivak. Then they offered me main event in London, and I was like, can't turn this down against Volkov. who was number six in the world at the time. I was like, mate, the knee's been holding up good. I'm gonna beat Volkov in London. Give me a new contract for that as well, way more money. It's like, the knee's sweet, I'm doing well with the knee. Um, and then obviously they offered me blades in London as well, and uh, then the knee just gave up on me in front of my home crowd, which is, you know, there's a lot of people been, um, you know, getting at me because they lost money and stuff on bets and all that, but mate, no one lost as much money as me guaranteed like I lost half of my money for lost my win bonus and I, I was sure I could win that fight as well so a lot of uh, I had to give up on the family holiday I'm here in London now to get surgery I'm here for, for a week to get surgery so it's uh, not the best situation but we'll learn from it I'm gonna tell you listen to this for what she wants only colors I don't like if it's the main color it's red blue and purple but don't mind bits of it. As <laughs> <laughs> if I can reach that anyway. Yeah, yeah. Do you reckon I should just go for it? Yeah. I can get it. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Let's see. Got it. 
So you just had the MRI today, tomorrow you get the results. Yeah, so I had the... Then what's the plan? I had the MRI today. I had an MRI last week when I was away. But like I say, it wasn't very accurate because... And then they ended up being like an ultrasound, so... I don't think it's very accurate because my knee was dead swollen then. It's gone down now. Uh, they did an MRI today, X-ray today, tomorrow they're going to tell me what they're doing surgery-wise. And uh, then Wednesday, which is in two days, they'll... Uh, operate it looks shit though because like i kicked him even at least he can kick me and hurt me like i hurt myself like it's embarrassing man i don't know i don't know like i'm a winner i'm a winner i don't want to but you didn't lose uh, i did i feel like a, I, you didn't I did get lose. tko i know yeah. it says it did TKO'd. Say, i've seen there's been a bit of debate about yeah. that the doctor stop it don't <laughs> <laughs> i should have shouted that i know yeah. <laughs> no the uh what do you think to that about the fight being classed as a TKO? I would say a TKO was like when someone's not unconscious and they get well, no. damaged. Well, I guess I, I wasn't unconscious. I was I was damaged. So, well, a TKO I thought is a te techni technical knockout. So it's technically knocked out, but a KO is a yeah when they're out cold. Yeah. Yeah. Now at the end of the day, mate, Curtis was standing up. I was on my back, so he's the winner. Doesn't matter if it's a TKO. Like, I couldn't continue, and he could. So, I'm the loser, aren't I? If, if we're in, like, if we're in the medi medieval times or something, and we both want something, if we both want that can of Coke there, yeah, I know they weren't Coke in the medieval, if we both want that can of Coke and we're fighting over it, he's getting the can of Coke, isn't he? And I'm on my back with no can of Coke. <laughs> so, I guess that's how it, I don't know. But, uh, I don't, you, you can't really give it a no contest or nothing because, then people would be losing, start losing fights and start faking injuries, wouldn't they? So they wouldn't actually lose. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I do know. Like what if you I mean. if, if I was like, say I was three rounds down against Curtis, right? And then I kicked him. And, and then ah. I kicked him and went, ah, I'm in knee. Like, and then it was a no contest. Like that's not fair on Curtis. Is no, it? that's not fair on Curtis. But I think I think in this situation because it lasted 15, it was almost immediate injury. Oh, it was it one was of the. F it, to be fair, um, I seen Bispin on the commentary. Was like, uh, Curtis landed a couple of huge right hands. He was like, he didn't. We didn't even hit it. We both missed each other. <laughs> the, the only shot that I think he kicked me once. I kicked him once or twice, and obviously I hurt my leg. So um, yeah, well, there, was, there was nothing happened in the fight, but. But like, that's not a technique. Anybody can go home and be like, wow, this is how Curtis finished Tom. If I if I would kick you, that wouldn't happen. <laughs> You'd be limping off. It's just Curtis has got them big giant giant, uh, giant strong thighs. So respect, uh, respect. Yeah, true. <laughs> Best place I've been to in the UK, though. What? Camden. Sick. Isn't it? <laughs> Sick. Yeah. Good vibe down there. Yeah. Well, no, it's a bit we'll of a bold a statement, though. That isn't it? <laughs> Best place ever. This is the best place I've ever been. <laughs> Best place I've ever been. <laughs> Which way is it? <laughs> Left. But he is the top guy in the UK to do knee surgeries, apparently. So, like, even my, the guy who did my knee last time recommended him, and the USC recommended him. A couple of footballers I know recommended him. So he's the man. That's why I'm fucking come all the way to London for it because he's the main the main guy. Okay. Be careful. <laughs> How mad is that? You know, watch yourself, pal. Fucking coming off that roof. <laughs> oh, mate, do you know? Uh... There's a guy on the top of a building up there that knows who you are from down from I wouldn't be able to see with my eyes I wouldn't be able to see who that was I'd be like ah I'd be zooming in on my phone trying to fucking figure out who it is I don't know lost it I'm feeling, feeling the, the love door. though feeling the love still there my guy mate right. that's what I mean when people uh, think I've got a hard job like I wouldn't want to be fucking doing that all day do you know what I mean stood on the roof Doing stuff with scaffolding. That's a that's a hard job, man. 
fighting someone twice, three times a year. It's not, that, it's not that bad in comparison to that. But that's not, I'm not like, I'm not disrespecting it, like I'm fucking respecting them. But I couldn't do that. I couldn't work in a factory or in a garage or as a plumber or doing not like, it's just fucking hard work. Like I'm not saying, oh look at me, I'm way better than them. Who are up? Mate there, you're better than me. I couldn't do that, no chance. Shall we go in, Jacob? Yeah. We should go in. In a quarter to. Let's go, boys. Should we have a look here? Yeah, of course. Take you on the couch, and then we'll take you through your scans and go from there. Where do you feel that? Just right inside there. On the inside? Yeah. yeah. End up as far as you can. This didn't bend anyway, so. Right, so is that that's as far as. It's not going to go much further than that. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to sit on your foot, <laughs> deliberately. Let's get that one under me. How does that feel on the outside? It's not too bad that on the outside. No problems. What about here? Yeah, that's all. That feels solid. Really floppy if you can. Oh, but don't like that. that don't like those. If I bend it up, I rotate it. No, that's not great. Not great. Not great. <laughs> I don't no. oh that's one. Yeah. No, there's not a lot of good stuff going on here. Right, okay. I think I'm off the painful bit, you can see it. So let's have a look at the rest of your joint. So get a close up now, slice by slice. So there's your kneecap at the front. We're slicing the front to back. So let me show you what we were seeing. So first thing is the kneecap is here. Mm. Sits in a V-shaped groove. It's a, a V-shaped bone, blocks in. You just get rid of that. You'll see the end of your thigh bone's got two bits to it. Yeah. And in the middle, you have an anterior cruciate ligament at the back, posterior cruciate ligament. Yeah. And then between the two bones, the femur and the tibia, these C-shaped things, the menisci. Yeah. So you've had some of that trimmed up, mm -hmm. but it may be that you've got a tear that's just in and out of the joint, jamming it, and it fit beautifully with your story. Mm -hmm. The outside is C-shaped, and I think probably is fine. Right. And then on the inside of your knee, you've got a very big ligament, the medial collateral, which is often injured in your sport. The MCL, yeah. Exactly, you've heard that many times. And the ACL on the outside. And yeah, ACL and the LCL is the only outside. Right, I know that. That one's the not so bad one. That one's a really bad one. Can be. Yeah. <laughs> Can be. Not always. Yeah, and I would say when I saw the scan yesterday, I was, a, dis I was disappointed on your yeah. behalf because obviously we didn't want it. No, no. But if you have something like that, how long are you talking well, about off sport? So, is that quite but, yeah, it's a big deal. Right. And traditionally people said, oh, if you're a footballer, you won't get back from it. But you're a fighter, so the chances are better that you get back from it. Right. Yeah. All that's important in sport is performance. Yeah. I can be, you use my brain and be very intellectual, and then let you down because I don't deliver. Mm -hmm. And if you're performing, that's all that's important. But you can unfortunately see the problem, it's, it's clear cut. Okay. So that's my plan. Now, I can't imagine there's a problem with your ACL because it looks so good on the scans. Where your career's been going mm. is a worry. And obviously I need to talk to your agents about that. Now is not the time to panic. It's fucking big news that, like, it's a big job. I know, I know of it already. I've got so many, uh, like, overwhelming amount of messages, mate, since the injury, which is, yeah, mate, it's really nice, really nice. There's people are like, checking up on me, asking how I am and stuff. It's fucking really nice. Who's been one of the ones you've been most taken back by? Everybody. What, you talking about like big names and stuff? I mean, there's plenty of big names got in touch with me and that, but... The jail? <laughs> no, jail's not. <laughs> jail's, jail's ghosted me, he's fucking moved on. He's moved on now. No, um... Like Chris Cyborg messaged me, <laughs> which is wild. <laughs> yeah, Chris, uh, wait, there's loads, there's lo loads of. Uh, I've never spoke to her before though. So. Are you anxious about That's having the surgery? Uh, no, not really. I, I might wake up a female. They might put me unconscious. I'll wake up. You know, no genitals, female genitals. That <laughs> So you No, I don't know. You know what freaks me out is like you're unconscious and they could do anything to you. And you wouldn't even know. <laughs> That's what freaks me out. That's what freaks me out. <laughs> Just being unconscious and like 
loads of people being around and I'm just fucking out of it. 72 feet away. And that hunger might not make it. <laughs> it's like a mirage. <laughs> <laughs> About to go in and get surgery. Let's get it done. Been waiting all week, so I'm more hungry than anything. <laughs> Can't stop thinking about food because obviously with the surgery you can't you can't eat all day and you're supposed to drink as little as possible as well. So have you done that? Yeah, I had like half a glass of water today, so I'm thirsty and hungry. I don't, mate. I don't know how people do this weight cutting shit because it's been I've been up for like four hours. I'm fucking starving. <laughs> It's so complicated, she told me about fish with different stuff to do. You seen these? You put it on and it like covers your front and then you like naked at the right. <laughs> yeah. I've got to put one on first, but I can't remember which one she said to put on first. It's probably that. I reckon yeah. it's that first. She told me loads of stuff to do and I was like, yeah, 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 and just forgot it all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, I'll definitely do that. surgery at this point to I admit, put some, a needle in and out on the inside of the knee. It just loosens the ligament a little bit so I can do the surgery safely. Um, what we're going to do is get the swelling down as soon as we can because that's your enemy. It switches the muscle off and it softens the joint a bit. So a couple of weeks, get rid of the swelling, lock it out. When you were asleep, your bend was restricted, as you said, compared to this one. Yeah. But it was better than it was yesterday because obviously right. you're asleep and I can move it. So this one's 135 degrees. This side's about 120, which is more than enough for what you want to do. Right? Okay. You want to be small. Yeah. All right, mate. Thanks a lot. Good to see you. Thanks. Cheers, Ross. Cheers. Cheers. 